All right, here we go. Look at that full card, stacked card. So let's see if we can not lose some points here. Had a rough night, drops pretty low, climbed back up just over 900, and that's where we're sitting right now, I think. So this is the instinct on a four and we're just gonna try to wrap around all these trees. Try to stay out of the water, get our birdie. Ooh, cutting it close there. Nice little tap in there. Soy boy got a four, man. That's must have had a OB and then missed his par. Tough way to start, but it's northern lights. You never know what's gonna happen. Just like to throw the default aim with the accurate roll sapphire. Not enough to ace it on this wind, but we'll just get it down there close to the basket for our birdie. Don't get any crazy bounces off these rocks. There we go. Looks like everybody's. Although I don't see where you like that is. He must have missed the mando somehow or missed the island. Not the Mando. So it looks like we're going to be tied with Jonas. Going into hole three. Two under after two. Par four. Is it Northern Lights three? It is not. What hole is this? This eight, I think. Alright, I like to go light glide roll. On a forehand. Staying kind of low so it'll turn over a little more out of the hand not quite enough hopefully it gets kind of a sticky landing oh, off the tree that'll work I'd rather be here than way back over to the right so got kind of a long shot let's see 500 I'm gonna go with the light glide just to get some more slide out of it once we land um, since it's a long shot don't hit okay Hopefully not too much slide, just enough. Perfect. Get our birdie. See what Jonas is up to. That blue flight path there. He might have a shot around the house. We'll see where he comes from for his birdie shot here. Be good for me if he was oh yeah, stuck behind that house a little bit, so. Just lobbing it up over and getting his par most likely unless he had had an OB over there. Oh he did. So that helps us a ton man. Two shot lead after three holes. Pretty rare lately, so I'll take it. Oh look at that. Got a three tailwind. I imagine pretty much everyone's gonna be going over. I know I am. Oh not very many people are. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. It's a pretty easy carry with the light glide. Hopefully we don't mess this up. This is looking really good. Just give me a nice soft bounce up towards the basket. Yes. Yeah, I don't, I'm surprised. Did anyone else? Nobody. That's really, uh, especially everyone being down by two with me and nobody went for it. And it's really shocking, so we're able to ooh, just sneak that one in, get another stroke. And we got a three-shot lead with five holes to go. Can't remember the last time I was able to say that. All right, got the wind, little tailwind right to left here, and glide roll, try to get it to get a little sticky when it lands. We're going to aim really low, pretty much a straight pull. And it should have enough distance even if I was in line with that rock to be high enough, but that's pretty perfect there. That'll work. Everybody's going to get the Albion, I'm sure. Oh, you like that. Had some trouble off the tee, apparently. I wish they'd change this hole a little bit. Either lengthen it. I think I've said this before in some videos. They either need to lengthen the carryover or add some big rocks or something just to make it a little more risky and not that guaranteed albatross. I don't think there should be any holes that are pretty much guaranteed albies. Alright, I like to go instinct, accurate roll just to get me 
some stop. I'm, I'm kind of going to just do a soft bit at this. I don't want to get stuck behind the trees there. Throw it nice and high and let it let it fade towards the basket. Probably not much chance, nope. But we're out of the trees and that's all I really wanted on that shot. Get our birdie. Three more holes to go and we got a three shot lead. So things are looking pretty promising. We got two par threes and a par four, so it could be could be a lot of different courses, maybe sunshine. Nope. So again, we're just playing for birdies, nothing too crazy. This is a glide roll arrive. I like to aim slide to the left, open up this gap a little bit, and then middle chevron kind of right below that tree. And kind of like a almost a disc, maybe a little less of Annie. And that's pretty perfect there. It's going to stop with a short little putt for birdie. Soy boy with a nice save for birdie. Everybody got it. Are they all tied? Oh no. Jonas and Soy boy. That's seven under. All right. So as long as we don't give up three strokes. Oh, I normally would run this. So I'm, I'll show you the line. I'm not going to do it because I'm trying to play smart, but light light glide or glide skip but I like to go light glide about right there and then just flex it through this little gap here we're going glide skip we're gonna do a big oh geez I almost let go of that try to do a nice safe wide route here even if it hits a tree like that <clears throat> it's at least in play and again well I got a pretty good gap right there I'm going to go through the gap instead of try to go high and around. Looking. Oh, no. No. Inches away. Well, there we go. So we might give up two shots and make this kind of interesting. But hopefully we can save our par here. Which we do. It's only one shot. Not bad. I'm not used to playing it so safe like that. Still no excuse. I thought I had a good shot there, but I just clipped the tree. I needed a touch more highs around that. So this one I like to go light glide, slide to the left, just aim right down in this corner here, and then put some highs around it. And usually gives me a pretty good result here. I'm not trying to make it. Pretty much have to do glide skip to, to make this unless you do like a backhand through the OG. But Never really running this one unless I really need a stroke, but there you go. That's a good solid round, 11 under with a par, two shot lead, and I picked up six points, so pretty rare for me lately, so I'll take it. All right, guys, thanks for watching me play some DGV.